From headless women to a photo of a little glowing girl, today we check out 10 ghost reports from Scotland's Lanarkshire. Number 1. Old Post Horn Inn Old Post Horn Inn, located in Crawford, is believed to be haunted by at least two spirits. One of a little boy that has been heard singing by many guests throughout the building. It is believed that the boy met a tragic end when he was run over by a horse-drawn carriage. The second spirit, that of a hooded figure, was seen in the 1980s, walking past the windows during a snowstorm. The witness quickly ran outside to find the mysterious stranger, but soon discovered that there were no tracks left in the snow. Number 2. The David Livingston Centre in July of 1982, three witnesses to the David Livingston Centre were shocked to see a man walk past them and vanish in front of their eyes. Some have speculated that this is the spirit that is responsible for the numerous items that have gone missing throughout the years, only to turn up again months later with no explanation. It is thought that the most likely candidate for this spirit is the late David Livingston himself that once worked here. Number 3. Mysterious Bell Ringing This report tells of a wooded area in Braidwood, where a monastery once stood. Many fascinated witnesses have come forward, claiming to still hear the bells from the no longer standing building, while other witnesses have gone on to say that they have seen phantom monks walking through the woods as though they were still going about their daily rituals. Number 4. The Victorian Couple In Coulter, there comes a report from a farmer dating back to the 1920s. The farmer accounts that one night whilst herding his sheep and bringing them home, he happened upon a Victorian couple just outside the Wingate house. He wished them a good evening, then watched as they faded away in front of him. The following day he says his hair had gone completely white, believing the meeting with the couple to be the cause. Number 5. Time Slip A report of a potential time slip, as a witness back in 1996 to 97, said on three separate occasions they looked out of their flat window to see the street below in full Victorian bloom, with all of the people down below dressed in Victorian clothing and horse-drawn carriages travelling up and down the street. The claim is backed up by one friend who was there to witness it on one occasion. Number 6. Museum of Transport The security guard at the Museum of Transport has come forward with their experiences whilst at work. He claims in his time working here he has witnessed a headless woman walking throughout the building, and on many occasions seen balls of blue light. And for me the creepiest claim is that of frequently hearing the screams of children. I don't know why, but personally I find child ghost reports to be the scariest. Number 7. Royal Infirmary Hospital Given the emotion and energy that hospitals see on a daily basis, it doesn't surprise me when claims of spiritual encounters come from them. At the Royal Infirmary Hospital in Glasgow, one doctor says that when they were answering an emergency arrest call, a gentleman asked them for the exit. He pointed in the direction whilst running down the corridor. As he got to the patient, they had unfortunately died. But the doctor couldn't shake the feeling that this was the same person that a few moments ago had asked them for directions. Another frequently spotted spirit that has been called Archie is an elderly gentleman that has been seen on many occasions on Ward 27, each time talking to a patient that are in critical condition believed to be giving them words of comfort in their final hours. Number 8. Elderly Lady A gentleman from a commercial property on Vincent Street in Glasgow reports that on one occasion in 2008, as they went to the toilet they saw an elderly lady in old-fashioned clothing looking at herself in the mirror. Initially thinking the encounter to be quite funny, he told a colleague, though the colleague told him no one fitting that description was in the building. 
He quickly went back to the toilets to find that they were completely empty. Number 9. Wailing Woman An odd report comes from two witnesses that say on the 4th of March 2005 they were passing the hospital grounds in East Kilbride when they were suddenly taken over by the strange urge to lift the cover to a storm drain. The two friends were then greeted with the sounds of a woman sobbing coming from within that quickly turned into full-on hysterical wailing. Before regaining control over themselves and running away, the two say that a glowing mist was approaching them from within the darkness of the drain. And finally for this episode, number 10, Glowing Girl. Louise Murphy and her son Owen were left speechless when they captured in a photo what they believed to be the spirit of a little girl. The mother and son were visiting the Riverside Museum in Glasgow back in August of 2016. They were enjoying the sights of the building, taking photos for their own personal collection, when in one photo they made the startling discovery of a glowing little girl. Skeptics of course were quick to say that the photo is either fake or just an overexposed girl, though Lois and Owen are adamant that the photo is genuine and that no one was in the room when the photo was taken. Please put your opinions in the comments below. That's all for this video, thank you for watching. If you like the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.